Hello, hello, thousand year blood will read on banner from tomorrow. Step one is gonna be free. We do have Lele, Baro, Nanao, Grammy, and all of these characters in the banner. The banner rates are gonna be general format stabs, you know, with 850 orbs, 200, stuff like that. And every single five step is gonna get you a featured five star character from the banner. Before I do talk about the characters briefly, I just want to mention that right now that it's not worth to summon for these characters unless they are gonna be your favorite units in the whole entire game game and you can't care less about the upcoming banners that are gonna come soon to the game in a couple of days time they are older characters in general and anytime soon in the future they can get a remake a renewed version now now we do have here a good melee espada guild quest booster character mainly her place is there so people are using her as a boost character you know a support character in it but that's kind of a rare occasion you can of course use her wherever you want to other than that we do have Grammy. He was really good when he came out. Nowadays, you don't see him at all. He has a revive special move, good skill set and stuff like that, but, you know, again, same thing, you know, kind of lacks the damage and he's an older character. Lele Baro, same vibes, no status illness. He does have a good skill set and he was insanely, insanely busted when he came out and a lot of people played with this character. Even nowadays, you can have a nice success with him, you know, at 5-5, five, five, at 2 out of 5, stuff like that, because he does have generally a really, really good combo combinations of the strong attack or he may mostly just a IT co-op healer character with a barrier as well other than that I mean she's not even good for there I'm not gonna lie you know like I mean I guess if you have three person in the lobby who are like insanely insanely strong and you just want to like play with Orihime to like heal them and give them barriers that's acceptable and she's a fun character as well wait so I'm still using him in guild quest even at off killer guild quest because I have him 5-5 and he's a fantastic character to auto content to play with him manually to use him in guild quest in epic raid wherever you want to of course he doesn't have as much damage as the nowadays normal attack characters but he does have a boost second strong attack with a moving vortex around him and guard break as well which is really really good ichibei on the other hand nothing too insane not a character that you want to play with overall in pve but mainly his place is brave battles he kind of is outdated in brave battles though with like a max defense build i guess he can work uh, against some of the opponents of course Course, you know to just let you know he's not that great anymore even there mini yachi uh, nah bro <laughs> nah, nah, nah. i haven't gotten friends yet resurrection she does some bombardment and devastation we're just gonna skip you i'm just gonna let you know that this unit is uh not that he's safe i guess you can cheese the guild quest uh stages with this character i don't know maybe sometimes she doesn't have 80 percent sp boost or like weakening on the bomb um so yeah i guess bombardment devastation i mean you can use her as a nuker i guess i don't know how that will work, whatever, you know, nah, nothing is saying. Yeah, nothing is saying. Kepachi, really good resurrection. The unit is transforming to his Bonkai state when using the special move. Dealing more damage while the duration is active and refreshing all of his strong attacks. Really fun character, he say resurrection for the unit even though he's super, super old. He's like five years old right now. Retsu as well. Retsu can be used in Brave Battles because of the ignore Brave Battle invisibility stuff. She's not that insane anymore or anything like that. She's... Just, you know, a nice character. Other than that, no guard break, nothing like that. Heal second strong attack, uh, good auto unit, and uh, that's about it. As I said before, guys, I wouldn't recommend anyone to summon on this banner. There are going to be a lot of good banners nowadays. End of the year is coming soon. Pool selection is going to be on the 25th of December, which is one of the best banners of the year. And uh, yeah, overall, just summoning on anything else is, uh, I think it's a bigger value overall. I, I think it's definitely a bigger value. These characters are kind of limited though but keep that in mind these you know they can get a new version especially especially red sweat kebachi they have a really high chance to get a new version at the end of the year if you will still decide to summon a good luck man hopefully you're getting the character that you want i'm gonna do one step and uh, that's about it thank you for watching and you know the vibes even wherever you are have a great day slash night and i truly hope i will see you the next one take care and bye bye